Hi friends, I'm Abby and welcome back to my channel and today we're doing my March TBR. So March, I decided to do a TBR game and the game I've chosen is TBR Star Hop, which has been created by Stephanie at Stephanie's Bookverse. And I'm really nervous for this TBR game. I'm really nervous. I'm nervous, excited, but nervous because, well, it, my reading's not been great the past two months. March is a calmer month with work, but I'm nervous. And uh, yeah, I downloaded Stephanie's video of TBR Star Hop yesterday evening and it's seven minutes long. And that, that made me more nervous. I messaged Stephanie and she's like, well, it's been worse to me before. And I was like, so you're implying it's been, it was pretty mean. It's been pretty mean to me. And the thing, I will link all the rules for TBR Star Hop and Stephanie's playlist of them down below if you want to check it out a bit more. Basically, you go up the board until you get to the big star at the end. And depending on if you, you land on star moons and suns and you get a prompt for every star moon or sun that you get. And uh, I, you could have like four or five rolls uh, because it depends on how many rolls of the dice that you get. Like if you get 12, then that's a lot of moves up the board. Or you could have like 20 rolls because if you, end, if you land on like the black hole, then you get sent back to the beginning. If you land on a wormhole, then you get back to the last wormhole. Like you can end up with so many rolls. <laughs> and that's really daunting to me particularly as a mood reader, but like the way I've done the TBR games before is I've just done five rolls pretty much, like, and just done it at that, like five picks from the TBR prompt jar, five rolls on Bacopoli, and luckily I didn't get any doubles. But this, there is no controlling it. Like it could be nice and you could get five rolls or you could get like 20 rolls. It seems, oh, so daunting. Oh, so very daunting. Yes, so if you haven't seen TBR Star Hop before, then I will leave Stephanie's channel and her playlist for the TBR game down below. She's been doing this for, I think, the past year now, uh, and I love it. I love watching these videos. I love seeing Stephanie struggle and seeing her, like, the panic that comes into her eyes when she realises that the game is going on and on and on. So this is going to be me this month, uh, and I'm preparing myself for the pain. Because my TBR shelves are the ones behind and below me, uh, I've already picked off quite a few books that I feel like could be good options. So hopefully I can just pick from these ones instead of having to like scramble behind me. It's, it's my hope. Right, let's get started. Okay, hello and welcome to Abby's March TBR Star Hop. I am so happy that you asked me to play this for you, Abby. I hope that it's nice to you, but I also have a little part of me that hopes that you hit at least one wormhole because then you can feel a little bit of the pain that I do. Um, but yeah, let's just go ahead and jump into roll number one. Okay, first roll is an eight, starting off strong. Eight, okay. Oh, yes! Okay, I'm sorry, I shouldn't be happy, but oh, hit a wormhole, have to go back to the beginning, and you have to pick a book from your ongoing series to read. Um, I don't know if you want to put it into a jar and pull out one randomly, but that's how I do it. So, ooh, that is, that's a rough start for you. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. So starting off straight away and I'm landing on a wormhole and going straight back to the beginning. Oh, right. Oh, rude. So rude. Okay, I haven't actually prepared a wormhole jar. <laughs> oh, maybe I was too optimistic. I didn't prepare a wormhole jar. Um, I don't have that many ongoing series. Okay, I'm back from my mug creation my wormhole mug because I don't have a jar to put it in um and I have just put my ongoing series in here uh I didn't put there's quite a few series where I need to start again from the beginning so I haven't put them in and then there's lots of series where I'm up to date and obviously I can't put them in because what would I be continuing on with <laughs> but like just I'm up to date so these are the ones where I can actively continue on with right now and we will see what we get Oh my god, it's the one I wanted! It's the one I wanted! It's the one I wanted! <laughs> I mean, I 
think they all probably would have been okay. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. I'm like so happy about this because this is the biggest one. But I really wanted to make sure I got this one on the TBR. So, oh, I'm relieved it's on the TBR at least. Okay. So, Lycanius. The Light of All That Falls, the third book in the Lycanius trilogy. Uh, spoiler alert for my February wrap-up. This didn't get in it. I, I didn't get to it. I didn't get to it because uh, February was was a month was a month you'll see in my wrap up but reading didn't really happen so the light of all that falls I've, I'm so nice to myself I put an 830 page book on my TBR and I don't even know how big this TBR is going to be yet oh well the first book is the gigantic book I have been loving the Lycania series so I read the first two in January uh, I then didn't I wanted to get to this in February it didn't happen but I really do want to get to this as soon as possible hopefully the very beginning of March this can be one of my first books I pick up and uh, I'm a bit nervous about putting this on here because it's so big but I have to get to this because there was so, there's so many like intricate plot points that I have to get to this soon I have to get this get to this soon otherwise I'm going to forget things and forget little details and, and I know that I'm going to appreciate this so much more having the second book pretty fresh in my head and like all those details fresh so I'm so excited to get to this I'm so excited to get to this and then it gets to be on this TBR right back to the back 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 to this and, and at least now I've created my wormhole jar if I land on another wormhole which I fear I might okay roll number two hopefully it's a little nicer six so at least we know that's not the wormhole <sighs> yep not the wormhole okay good good oh, what, what am I getting though what am I getting <laughs> A book over 500 pages. Wow, it is, it's not being kind to you at the beginning, is it? <laughs> over 500 pages. I just put the 800 page book on the TBR. <laughs> and you want me to pick another one? <laughs> okay, okay, 500 pages or more. Let's go have a look through the options and see if I can find like a 500 page book that has big font. You know what? I know what to pick. I don't even need to look through these options. I don't, I don't. Well, you know how I just put an 800 page book on my TBR? I'm gonna put another 800 page book on my TBR that I was meant to get to in February and I didn't. And that is The Dragonbone Chair by Tad Williams. Spoiler alert, I didn't get to it in February because I failed my TBR completely. So we're gonna try again this month. And the Dragonbone Chair is the first book in the Memories of Thorn series. This is a big epic fantasy. It's a trilogy, but it's sort of a quartet because the third book is so gigantic. But yeah, the first book's like 800 pages odd, uh, very large. Uh, I feel, I, I don't know that much about it, apart from it being the inspiration behind a lot of modern fantasy writers today. I believe there's secret passageways in a castle, uh, but I couldn't explain like the actual plot of the book. Uh, I've generally heard quite rave reviews reviews for it, particularly from Jimmy at the Fantasy Network. And I'm I'm excited. And I'm going to be buddy reading buddy reading this with Joanna Souza, uh, Sam, who's on Instagram at Tome Tower and Life as Monet. Um, and fingers crossed that we all love it. So there we go. Sixteen hundred pages done on the TBR. Okay, roll number three. A seven. Did that stay in? Yeah, it's doing the frame. Seven. 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 Okay. Seven. We're, we're okay with that. Seven is fine. Ooh. Ooh, that was close. That was close to the wormhole. Okay. Ooh, a friend pick. So have a friend pick out a book for you to read. But. I was about to say, but I have no friends here with me. I don't have any friends here. Um. Well. Well, actually. With my friends, we've picked to read. Daughter of the Forest by Juliet Marie. Does can this count? Uh, Vish and Sam picked for me to read this. I, they may not be here now picking this for me, but they've picked from the past them and past me. We've decided that we're reading this, so it's a buddy read and a friend pick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, can that count as a friend pick? Uh, this is the first book in I can't remember what the series is called. The Seven Waters series. Uh, it's what. I was determined to get my TBR as well um and generally I feel I feel like I'm in all of this I've been like I've had this on my TBR for years like I haven't owned it for years but I've like put it on my Goodreads TBR in like 2014 I've been so excited to read it 
and this is finally happening. We originally, our buddy read for the year was going to be the Green Rider series, and then none of us were that much of a fan of the first book. So we've decided to retry our yearly buddy read with Daughter of the Forest. And this is what we're going to try now. Hopefully we all love this one and then we stick with this one. But you're following our main character, Saoirse, and I believe she, that her brothers are cursed with something and she, she has to try, she has to try and break the spell. Either way, I'm excited and um, fingers crossed, we love this. Okay, next roll, we get a six. Not bad, moving along. Okay. Ooh, a sun. Let's see what we get there. A book that is 550 to 580 pages. Wow, game's being a little rough on you, I'm so sorry. Wait, <laughs> another one where I have to pick a gigantic book but but i put my two gigantic books on here already stephanie don't give me a make don't make me put another gigantic book on here i've literally got out all the small books <laughs> oh no oh 550 to 580 oh oh no i thought i had an option but it's 530 pages i was like it's just that it needs to be over 500 but no no it's not it's oh I don't think any of these options I pulled off the shelves are going to work. Okay. I will go scramble through my shelves to find an appropriate book. Okay, that took a long time. <laughs> that took a very long time. So if the angles have changed, I, I went through like every book on my TBR. Like every single one I pulled off the shelves to see if it was between 550 and 580 pages. It was not an easy task to find one. I even got Goodreads up and, and like sorted by page length to try and find a book that was 550 to 580 pages because every single book I own is either like 400 to 500 pages like five, or 600 pages and above. Like books where I was like, okay, this is gonna be in the right bracket, 510 pages. And then you look at like Lancelot. Okay, Lancelot, I was like, this this, this looks like it'd be a, a good choice. This book is deceptive. Look, it looks like an, maybe like a, oh wow, I was thinking it might be a push, but like 400 pages. This book has 660 pages. This book is lying to us with its size. It looks like it's gonna be so much sh shorter than 660 pages. Anyway. That's not, I obviously could not pick that because I had to try and find one between 550 and 580. And all my options, no, 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 none of them are good enough. Oh, none of them fit, none of them work. Nothing, N no, it's a challenge. So I finally found one book, one book. In the 100 odd books I have on my TBR, I found one that fit the specifications. So it looks like I'm reading The Women's War by Jenna Glass because it's the only one that fitted and this is fitting with like the acknowledgements as well uh, but you know it got to the point where I just had to stretch it and I'm like okay I get it the book ends on like 530 odd 546 but we've got like an extra little bit here which puts it into the 500s and 50s so like I, I had to stretch it at some point like this was the closest I could get and it, it, I mean, there are more than 550 pages within the book. Within the whole book, there's 562. So it works. And I don't really know that much about this. This was really recommended by Jessie at The Bookish Mum. And I believe this is a women are rising up in a very patriarchal society, that it's a very harsh world for women and they are trying to claim their place and there's magic. I'm a bit unsure if I'm going to like this or not. I know that Jessie, she really liked this one, but she wasn't too keen on the rest of the series uh but I, so i feel like this this has never been top of my tbr and i feel like by having it on here by it being forced on here by its perfect page length it is giving it the opportunity to be read so here we go we will be attempting the women's war series by jenna glass okay next roll a five not bad more small five okay that's manageable and a moon prompt. A new to me author, so an author you haven't read from before. Okay, okay. New to me author. 
I, I can pick one of my short books. I can pick one of the sh many, many short books that I pulled off specifically for this. Okay, right, I think I need this. I think I need this after what we've been going through. So I have picked Redemption in Indigo by Karen Lord. This comes in at 275 pages and it's got large font. And I know Angela has read this in a day because I watched her do it in one of her vlogs. This is, uh, well, Karen Lord is one of Angela from Literature Science Science, her favourite authors. This is, I believe, a Senegalese folktale. Um, and Karen Lord, I think, is a Caribbean writer. Uh, and I've not read anything by her yet, but Angela raves about her, and I trust in Angela. We Our tastes generally align pretty well, apart from when it comes to N.K. Jemison, but we don't need to mention that. So I really hope this works for me. And I love like a fairy tale, folk tale sort of story. And this being a Senegalese inspired one, that's something completely outside of what I've ever read before. And yeah, I've never read Karen Lord, so it definitely fits the prompt. And this cover still reminds me of Peter Pan. And I think it always will. And we will see when I read the book if it reminds me of Peter Pan. Uh, but there, there's this one is definitely needed after after what we've been going through. Okay, so we don't want a four or an 11. No four, no 12. 11. Please. Uh, I'm so nervous. A four. Four? Ooh. No, no, oh, no, no. 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 Okay. No. So, no. And it's another wormhole. So, woo. Okay, that was a lot farther back than the last one. Woo. Well, I guess there's another wormhole book for you to pick. <laughs> oh man. Okay. This this is really being rough on you. <sighs> Good thing I prepared the jar. Let's see what this has given me. Storm light. Okay, okay. Now, 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 now. Good thing. Past Abby completely failed her February TBR. <laughs> because I didn't read Edge Dancer in February. So, thankfully, this is not Oathbringer. Thankfully, this is not Oathbringer. That, that that could have been a really, really, that could have been a whole thing if I'd finished my February TBR and I actually read Oathbringer, I uh, actually read Edge Dancer, which I was like really contemplating doing uh, like today, but no, 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 that's not happening anymore. I'm not reading Edge Dancer. No, not before the end of the month. No, 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 because it's the, um, I've got a few days. It's the 26th. I'm not reading Edge Dancer now. I'm going <laughs> to, that's not happening. So Edge Dancer is, uh, it's, next door my book and that one will be the, 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 my wormhole pick and it's short thankfully and thankfully that is not Oathbringer thankfully ooh, ooh, ooh. yes okay if you haven't read the storm my archive um then it's an epic fantasy series edge dancer is the novella that comes between books two and book three and I feel like I'm slightly losing it when we're doing this TBR game. There we go. Okay, let's just continue on and let's see how we go. Okay, next roll. Ooh. 12, good, you deserve that. You needed oh, a high number. 12. Okay. Nice, almost, almost back. Wow, that is a long wormhole to go back from. Okay, a romance book for this prompt. Romance. Romance, okay. Romance I prepared for. Romance, I got some romance. Romance, romance I prepared for. Like, romance, I, I put, I, I, I took some romances and I put them down here in preparation because I was like, romances will be good because I know I've already got some epic fantasy on here. So, romance, do I want to go modern or do I want to go historical? Okay, I think I've, I've owned this one for longer, so I'm going to go with The Switch by Beth O'Leary. I absolutely loved The Flat Show when I read it, so I don't know why I've not picked this up any sooner, because I've owned it for a while. I've, like, I've, I haven't owned this physical copy for a while, but I've owned the Kindle copy for ages, and I loved The Flat Show. I absolutely loved it. So, 
and I raced through that. Like I really, really raced through it. So hopefully I can really race through this. Uh, this is where a young woman and her grandma, they sort of places like not lit literally, like they physically move like the young girl who lives in London. She messes up her presentation and decides to take a two month sabbatical and go to her grandma's house. And her grandma decides to go and take her London lifestyle. And they just swap lives or swap locations. And I think they hit it off with whoever they meet in their different locations. So I think I generally heard quite positive things about this and because I really enjoyed the flat share, like hopefully I really, really enjoy this one too. I think it's just gonna be a cute, fun, uh, a fun, cute, fun time, hopefully. So, right, are we approaching the end now, please? Okay, now we don't want a two or a nine. No twos or nines. We're gonna send out good vibes on this one. Okay. Four. That's safe. Okay, we're safe, but we're still going. Past it. And another moon. What prompt do we get? A TBR vet. So a book that's been your, on your TBR for a while. TBR vet. Okay, excellent one. I'm, this, this one. This is good. This is good. This is good. Because I have another buddy read and another like priority read that I have to get to this month. And that is... The Fellowship of the Ring. So I'm not reading this whole thing. No, 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 no. Uh, but I, I am hosting Shelf Space in the month of March. And Stephanie is actually my co-host for the month. And we have picked The Fellowship of the Ring, the first book in The Lord of the Rings. I, obviously you can tell, I have owned this book for many, many years. This was my father's edition of this series. And we read it as a child. Uh, we, well, he read it to me. We never made it through the two towers. You can see where the bookmark is. Never quite finished it. And for many years now, I've been planning to reread the series and actually see how I feel about it as an adult. So when Stephanie suggested this as a pick for Shell Space, I was like, excellent, perfect. And there's the TV show coming out. So I feel like it's perfect timing to get back into this world and get back into these characters. Maybe I'll rewatch the film as well. I think that could be really fun to like read it, watch it, compare the two and just see how I feel about it now as an adult, because I've not seen the films for years either. Like it's been a very, very long time. And I re-listened, well, I listened to the audiobook, uh, the Andy Serkis one for The Hobbit, at the end of last year and I really loved that experience so I'm going to definitely do the same thing again and listen to the Andy Serkis version of The Fellowship of the Ring. This is what I'm going for for this one um, and I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited and I really hope I really I really hope I enjoy it. Yes there we go that's on there as well. I can now feel pretty accomplished that I managed to get like all my priority priority series or pri no all my priority books that I needed to get onto this TBR. They're now on the TBR. Okay no fives anything but a five and we're it gonna can't be, happy be a five. i refuse to believe that it's gonna be a five okay here we go fingers crossed eight oh yay <gasps> yes we're free we're safe we're in the home territory yeah okay so you are on the last one you get to do the spinner wheel oh i'm so happy for you but also a little bit not how many books is that So far, eight. Um, yeah, let's go see how the spinner wheel treats you. <laughs> okay, now let's see the spinner wheel. Oh, I need a timer. Shoot, shoot, shoot. I don't have a fancy timer like Stephanie does. So we're just gonna have to use the computer that I've already got up. She has 10 seconds, doesn't she? Okay, so my thing with the spinner wheel is that it could land on anything and Obviously my books are behind me, like here. So what happens if I can't grab them in time? Because they're, they're not like easily accessible to me. And I'm gonna have to try and like think of my feet and like try and like run, run, beh run, run behind me from my seat to, to get them. Okay, okay, let's spin this wheel and finish this. And, 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 and then we can panic together. Okay, so. Where's the spinner, spinner wheel, spinner. 10 seconds on the clock. Past home book club, but I've already just put Lord of the Rings on. Uh, okay, I've got it, 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 I've got it. I've got it.
got it. Two seconds left. I've got it. I've got it. Okay. There we go. Oh, spinning wheel's going again. Oh dear. Oh dear. And why did I pick this one? Yes. Okay. Yes. Time. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. But why did I pick this one? I mean, I guess it fits, but why did I pick it? Oh, because this is, this is big. Why did I do this to myself? What have I done? What have I done? What have I done? Well, I guess it was a past present book club pick. I panicked. I panicked. This would have been perfect, but I just got it on. So. Um, the Grace of Kings by Ken Liu. <laughs> uh, this is the first book in the Dandelion Dynasty by Ken Liu. Um, this is a, I think, steampunk Asian inspired fantasy story set on around the kingdom of Dara. And uh, I think the emperor is dying and um, his people, yeah, you're following people in, in this empire. And I'm really interested in reading this. I'm really excited to read this. Uh, this is actually Stephanie's book club that she's been running. So this was picked for January. So I'm a few months behind. I was hoping to pick this up in April. Uh, like in my head, I was going to read this in April because I was going to read this in April and then the next one in May. And then June was when is when the fourth and final book comes out. So I could read like the third one and the fourth one pretty close together. But I panicked. I panicked, I panicked, I panicked. I was try I was like, oh my God, what is a book that has been in a book club? What's a book that's in a book club? I don't know. I don't, I was like trying to think and uh, I don't, 10 seconds isn't a lot of time, Stephanie. You make it look so easy when you do it, but 10 seconds is not a lot of time. Okay, okay. So let's review and recap. I can't even remember what these books were for now. I can't, I don't, I don't even know. Okay, okay. So here's a stack of ones that I own. We had Lycanius, uh, the, the Slight of All That Falls in for Wormhole Pick. We had Daughter of the Forest for Friend Pick, and this is chosen by Sam Avish. We have The Fellowship of the Ring, which is in for a TBR veteran. We have The Switch in for Romance. We have Redemption in Indigo in for New to Me Author. We have The Women's War in for 550 to 580 pages. We have The Grace of Kings, which is the spinner pick for, for a book club pick. We have Edge Dancer, which is, was another wormhole pick. And we have The Dragon Bone Chair, which was uh, five over 500 pages. This is not possible, Stephanie. This is not possible. This is not possible. Um, maybe like I, I, this is not possible and I'm, I'm trying to imagine like another book this size being on top of here okay so there we go there we go there there is a a tbr of sorts of some sort of kind I hope you've enjoyed this I think I might need to organize some reading sprints so I can get through this um I'm a bit nervous and I'm uh, that's nine books. That's nine books, Stephanie. Nine books. I don't know when I last read nine books in a month. And nine of these books. A lot of these books are very long, Stephanie. Stephanie, why have you done this to me? Why did why did I pick this? Why did we pick this game? Why why did you create this game? <laughs> okay, I guess I guess we I guess so you're right. It has been like harsher to you in the past. <sighs> but this is harsh. <laughs> this is okay. So. I, Stephanie normally has, uh, if she fails her game, then she has a punishment. Uh, and the punishment is that she has to put another like wormhole on the board. Uh, I don't actually know what my punishment should be or, or, or what my prize should be. So yeah, let me know, let me know down below what you think my prize should be if I'm able to complete this because there should be a prize and not just a punishment and what my punishment should be if I don't complete this. Uh, so there are some like consequences to this like it could I go on like a book buying spree could I like I don't know I don't know what like 
could I, what would, be, what would a punishment be? An unhaul a book? <laughs> I don't know, that sounds, good. or read something, I don't know, I don't know. But give me your ideas of what my prize and what my punishment should be for my, if I'm successful or not with reading this TBR. Um, and I will pick, I will pick one of your suggestions. Uh, so be nice, please. But yes, uh, give me your ideas for, for, uh, prizes and punishments. And thank you so much for watching this shambolic TBR. What a shamble. And thank you so much, Stephanie, for, uh, for giving me this lovely, lovely game <laughs> to play. Uh, uh, Stephanie's details will be linked down below as long as any other channels that I have mentioned. And, uh, yes, yes. I hope you are looking forward to seeing this. Uh, I hope you're looking forward to seeing me reading all these books and thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my future videos. Bye!